So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. Oh, uh, he's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. I don't even know why he would do that. Now, you and I both know the saying that never judge a book by its cover. And unfortunately, all over Twitter, TikTok, all over social media, there are videos posted without context. And it is being judged by its cover without people knowing the whole story. But in this case, it was the book, the cover, the story, the director, everything was just out there and it became a whole meme all over the internet. Mr. Harris, who should be present with Mr. Hello? Harris, are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so I'll, just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Hey. You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended? That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. And he didn't have a license. Oh, that's what the charge is, Your Honor. Yes. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. Oh. I don't even know why he would do that. So defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is to turn himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. I personally saw this video when it first came out and I had no words. I had a good laugh about it, but I was like, you, you, you have a court meeting. Okay. Wh why court meeting about a suspended driving license? Why would anyone in the world would put themselves in that situation? It's like showing up to court to plead not guilty with the murder weapon in your hand. Long story short, this guy became a very huge joke on the internet. Everyone was making fun of him. They were like, oh, this is something they don't teach you at school. Tell me you're an idiot without telling me you're an idiot. Things like that. And I personally didn't really think about making a video about this. I had a good laugh, but I wasn't interested into making a video. Until a very big plot twist came along. Driver who went viral for appearing at a Zoom hearing for driving with suspended license went to jail over clerical, cler uh, clerical, clerical error. If you do not know what that word means, don't worry. I don't know either. It just means... Long story short, they fucked up. You would think that a judge, a government, a courtroom will not make mistakes with the documents. Well, you are mistaken, my friend, because the files that were handed to the judge were not updated yet. In the file, it says that his driver's license is still suspended. Meanwhile, Harris had originally lost his license in 2010, but a judge gave it back to him back in January 2022. The Michigan Secretary of State's office has now confirmed that they, they've never received the clearance notice that he had paid some fees. Long story short, they are not taking responsibility of the situation because they said, oh, we, we never received it actually. And after finding out this today, one thing immediately came into my mind. Where the fuck were the lawyers? Were the lawyers were not software updated as well? Are they going to take respons responsibility for this? Where was he as well? He went to the court hearing and he got his license back in 2022. Does he have a golden fish memory that he, for some reason, forgot that he actually got his license back? I don't know how the suspended licenses get, get recovered in the US. Do they just pay the fine and just, they just get their license back without taking any more driving practice anymore i don't know much about this in the u.s but if you do let me know in the comments below but over here like in the middle east specifically in the uae the way things work over here it's in a period of one year if in this one year you get 24 black points your your license is going to get suspended and how do you get these black points for example if a camera flashes at you only if your speed is above 180 kilometers that's when you'll receive four to six 
black points other than that anything lower than that for like speed fines you're just gonna get um your wallet is basically going to cry because of how heavy fines are over here. But like passing red lines, speed racing, things like that is going to get you black points and it's going to add up together. And in a spam of one year, if it becomes 24, it's going to get suspended. And within a year, you can apply to get a license again, but you have to start all of the training that you did from the beginning i don't want to judge the lawyers too fast on this as well maybe this guy forgot to give them this very important detail and th since it was not updated in the system they never really looked into it and if that happens it is definitely the guy's fault but the lawyers should like ask him these kind of questions like in this situation he definitely needed saul goodman and when he got caught by the judge and he's like oh his license is suspended and he's still driving i don't know how this is possible you know what you turn yourself today 6 p.m and you will be serving a two-year sentence why didn't he tell the judge right there and then that he actually got his license back in 2022 and he's allowed to drive why the fuck did he just agree with the judge he's like oh okay i guess i'll be serving a two-year sentence now the article says it is unclear why the why the public defenders did not catch this error and you know the lawyers who did not come forward with this error and be like yo he actually got his license back in 2022. He's good to go, but article says that, however, now it is being resolved. My best guess is these uh, public defenders, they were interns because they look pretty young and this was their first case and they... It became a very, very knowledgeable experience for them that next time ask the necessary questions and just know everything from your client. And if these mistakes like this happen, you have something to counter it and just bring it to light. After being jailed by Judge Simpson, Harris spent two days in custody after being asked to turn himself in. Whilst he's now been released and he's revealed that he's worried his jail time and the viral video have tainted his reputation. Honestly, when I first saw this video, it was a mixture of what a kind of an idiot he is and a mixture of, damn, this guy is actually cool like that. I don't give a fuck. I'm driving without a suspended driving license. It would have been much cooler if he had like 21 Savage song playing like like blasting in the, his car as well just like really loud <laughs> just coming in with the judge just opening up the screen and him being like pussy a mind that bitch for us the gang is what i trust in his statement he told with the type of ties that i have with the church and the community it's very embarrassing and after they asked him like what were you thinking you had a suspended driver license and you show up in your court zoom call while driving like, what, what kind of a person would do that? This is what he said. What was I thinking? I was thinking about getting my wife the medical help. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking about the fact that I got to suspend the driver's license. My friend, you got to drive it su suspended or not. This is where shit gets even more... Com I don't think he's also software updated. I think he needs to be updated about this as well. I don't care about all of that. All I care about is getting my wife to medical care. So in a way, we can say that he was an idiot, the lawyers were an idiot, and the whole court justice system was an idiot as well and another thing i want to point out even if his license was actually suspended and he was driving with other license if he would have said that his wife is going through a medical emergency care and she needs help as soon as possible he couldn't wait for an ambulance that's why he was driving her to a clinic there was a very decent chance the judge would have been understandable about the situation and would have let him slide that would have been such a good example not him yeah i'm just pulling up to a clinic he should have used that excuse 100%. And what is going to happen to the Judge Simpsons and the whole court, the whole justice system, that they missed this, they ruined the guy's reputation, that when he, they put him into, uh, in jail for two days and his video is out on the internet, everyone calling him an idiot because of a clerical... Cler clerical, clerical error. Is there anything going to happen to them? Nope. There has been cases more serious than this where people served more than a decade in jail for being wrongfully convicted by the judge and they just got out of, they just, they were like, oh, after 13, 14 years, oh yeah, we just want to let you know that this whole thing was a mistake. Sorry for wasting your time for like 14 years, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your life. 100% they're not going to apologize for this, even though it was for, from their own computers or some rookie made a mistake and they forgot to say that he actually got cleared in 2022 there's not going to be anything towards them because of the the majority of judges see when you want to become a judge you need to be selected as a person with not 
like who can control their ego. That's why there's a, only very few people selected to be judges who will not get drunk in power. Like if they put me as a judge, <laughs> this is his case. Guilty. Three life sentences. What the fuck? Judge, why? For disrespecting a judge and not showing proper respect to the judge. The evidence is right in front of you. I was chilling with my parents once the robbery you know took place. Is his parents here? Present. Yes. You, you two. Life sentences for both of you for not teaching him manners how to respect a judge. When you come across a judge like me, you need to go like... You need to worship him this or then it is extremely is disrespectful. Unfair. Take that, take, take, take them all out of here. Hey, hey. Next case. Yes, yes, good boy. Good. He's, he's free to go. I would 100% abuse the shit out of my power. But anyways, uh, this guy's reputation probably became the biggest joke on the internet. And most probably not a lot of people will be finding out that he was actually wrongfully convicted. And yeah, I mean, the most important thing is he's been released. He's not going to serve his two-year sentence. But yeah, I just thought this was a very interesting plot twist of a case. I haven't seen any case like this. It was just a mixture of stupidity everywhere. It was all of their faults, in my opinion. It was his fault for not realizing that he actually got his license back. It was also the courtrooms, the justice system's fault as well for not software updating their computers. It was also the lawyer's fault for not asking the right questions as they should. It is part of the job. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one.